place. The Swand of Garage. Buddy. Come on, you owe us, Tiny. Yeah. Oh, maybe. <laughs> no, 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 no. It is the most important thing we do to pick the right voice for the right character. Bringing a character to life in animation is so dependent on the voice because that's all you have at the beginning. Behold, the mighty grizzly. Ah! <laughs> we rock that house, didn't we, Boob? Put me down for a box of Thin Mints, will you, sweetie? Put a twig in the hole. That was not a compliment, Magnet! Oh, my still happy it didn't go wrong. You're gonna get yourself in a lot of trouble, girlfriend. Buddy. Hello, Elliot. <laughs> When I'm drawing, I have voices in my head. I'm, I'm hearing these characters, what they're saying, and it's fun to hear the voices that I hear all the time going out on the screen and other people hearing them. I'm going to sleep in the garage. Who's sleeping in the garage? That's right. Elliot sleep in the garage. The big, incredible Mr. E sleeping in the garage. Huh? In our case, we made it a big point to really let the actors add their own flavor into the characters because really their voices are so much of the character what we often do is we often bring the storyboards into the recording session and pitch the storyboard to them so that they have an idea of what the intent of the story is so even just beyond getting cold script pages there they've got the, the rough visuals then it was funny because ashton was actually a pretty big guy and his voice fits perfectly down into this tiny scrawny little mule deer i gotta hide gotta hide gotta hide, gotta hide. Gotta hide. Can I hide with you? So I kind of came in with an energy of like, it was a little bouncing off the walls. Um, and then the directors helped me because, it, you know, when I would have the energy, um, they always let me go, yeah, yeah, that's, that's the one, that's the one. I mean, Ashton is <laughs> Elliot. In fact, probably a fifth of the lines are Ashton just thing in the room with us and us trying not to laugh over the tape because it was so funny. I, I really didn't know how to create a character for Boo because he was um, he's a bear and all that so you know I probably thought like oh I need to have this big voice to fit into this big body. These are my people. This is where I reside. Nobody's hunting this bear. So we wanted to find somebody who could make Boot funny, but still take him through all the emotional changes that he needed to go to because it's his story. He's the one who goes the furthest. He goes through the biggest loss and the biggest emotional change. I didn't have to uh, try to, well, you know, project like I'm this bear or anything. I just have to talk like I'm talking now, but, you know, uh, do the dialogue and, and let the energy work for me. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> We've got Deborah Messing as uh, Beth the Park Ranger, and she brings a little goofiness to this character, which really uh, gives some spice to this. The character of Beth evolved along the way. When she was first presented to me, there wasn't obvious humor um, or quirks that were associated with her, but they made it clear that they wanted to explore and play and just sort of discover it together.